Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this 10 minute abs class. We're gonna be doing some crunches and a few other uh, fun uh, core workouts. So a strong core is essential to any yoga practice and also just having a strong core is really uh, helpful for uh, minimizing injury in your low back. So if you work at a desk all day, this is gonna be uh, essential for you to really work on the core. So thanks for joining me. All right, so lying down flat on your back, pinch your shoulder blades together, and just take a deep inhale through the nose, and then exhale through your nose, really press out every single drop of carbon dioxide. Bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest, wrap your arms around, give yourself a nice gentle hug, and just start to rock your body side to side, getting a nice spinal twist as you rock towards the right, gaze towards the left. As you rock towards the left, gaze towards the right, and just gently massage your low back for one more breath. And then let your next inhale draw you back to center. Exhale will lower the heels right below your sit bones. So pull your heels in close. You, almost, you want them so close that your fingertips can almost reach the back of the heel. And then we're going to start with some crunches. So knees are squeezed together. And then just inhale, lift your shoulder blades up off of the earth, pull your chin towards your chest and gaze at your belly button. We'll hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, gently lower down, back of the head finds the earth. Next one, inhale, lift your shoulder blades up, gaze at your belly button, hold five, four, three, two, and one, exhale lower. So just starting to feel some fire in the core, warming up the belly. So now we're gonna pulse from that same position. So these are also just uh, gentle crunches. So if you'd like to, you can interlace your fingers behind the nape of the neck, or you can leave your arms down by the side. It's just whatever's comfortable for you. So inhale, lift yourself up, gazing at the belly button. And then on the exhale, lift a little bit higher. That's our crunch. Pulsing here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale, back of the head finds the earth. Connect with your breath. Deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale through your nose. So we're moving on. So interlace fingers at the nape of the neck or arms down by the side, whatever works for you. Inhale, peel your shoulder blades up, gazing at the belly. Lift your right foot off of the earth, pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one switch, float the left, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, float both feet, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, knees come to a 90 degree angle, shins parallel to the floor, flex your feet towards your shins. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, legs extend straight up into the sky. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one last 10, challenge yourself. Try to reach for your toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Lower all the way down. Extend your legs. Extend your arms. Inhale. Reach your arms up overhead. Stretch out your belly. And then exhale, both hands and feet are gonna come over towards the right corners of your mat. Cross your left ankle over and gently pull the left wrist over. Get a nice side body stretch. Follow your breath, inhale to center. And then just exhale right over towards the other side. Awesome job, right ankle crosses this time. And again, your inhale is going to bring you back to center. Bend your knees, pull them in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice gentle hug. And let one hand find the top of each knee. And then inhale through the nose. And then exhale, pull the knees out wide, out towards the side. And then send the knees to all four corners of the room. Big knee circles. Start warming up your hip sockets. Just for three, two, and one. Awesome job. So for this next set, we're going to do reverse crunches. So you're going to want to take your hands and make a little triangle in between your both of your thumbs and pointer fingers underneath your sit bones. So slide your hands, making a triangle underneath your sit bones until you're nice and comfortable, making sure that your low back is snug to the earth. Extend both legs straight up into the sky. Inhale, peel your shoulder blades up, chin to chest, gazing at the belly button. And on the exhale, we lift the hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and then next set you can either stay with that variation or start to alternate your legs for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 again stay with that variation or try both legs at the same time lifting 10 9 8 seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Exhale, lower the back of the head down to the earth. Grab behind your thighs. We'll inhale and roll all the way up into sitting. So both feet are going to come hip distance apart at the top of the mat, and you're going to reach your hands uh, behind your sit bones, fingertips pointing towards the front of the room, and we're going to press up into five little tabletops. So pressing the heels and the balls of the feet all the way into the earth, so feet are flat. Inhale, press your hips up into the sky, and drop the crown of the head down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up, exhale, lower, inhale, press up, exhale, lower, two more, inhale, press, exhale, down, follow your breath, last one, inhale, press, and then exhale, gently lower all the way down. So now we're coming into Navasana, boat pose. So we're gonna be floating the feet. So just right off the bat, float your feet and find your balance on your sit bones. We wanna make sure that we're forward on the sit bones rather than on the tailbone. So keep lifting your chest and make sure that you're uh, forward on your sit bones rather than rolling back onto your tailbone. So floating the feet, try to bring your shins parallel to the floor. And just grab behind the thighs. So we can either stay right here. This is our first level. Perfectly good place to stay if that's where you need to. Next level, we want to just try to bring, lift the legs up even higher. Maybe you can extend the legs all the way up. And maybe even float the arms out by the side. So we're just going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
And one, stay here. This time, paddle your legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stay here, hold, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. So that's the end of our abs class. You can either uh, finish up with some stretches, maybe savasana, or find another class right here on my channel and follow up with that. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.